Hi, this is Larry McRae with Poison Spider. We're with our friends here at Rock Crawler in their booth at the 2013 SEMA show. We're here with Jeremy, the owner of Rock Crawler, and he's got a pretty cool new part for the, uh, the Jeep. Jeremy, what do you got there in your hands? Well, there, we got the new JK tie rod with chromoly forged ends, 7075 aluminum bars that do have left hand and right hand adjust for the JKs. We will have a very similar component for the drag link as well. That's very cool. I know that on uh, tie rods, I've, I've tried to use in chrome ollie and uh, no matter what you use, they bend and they don't come back. But with an aluminum, they flex a little bit, right? Yep. So you can bump them on a rock and then they'll flex back and ultimately go back to straight. Yeah, exactly. That is exactly how I use a 7075 material. It's got memory properties, so you do hit it, it comes right back. You don't have to worry about it bending and having to buy a new one. And then obviously with, with a chrome molly in and an inch and a quarter shank and a two inch head, you really should feel very comfortable about your the product in your vehicle. Right. And the other cool feature is this little uh, bend in the uh, tie rod. And if you don't know what that's for, uh, or like for me, a lot of times I have to notch my diff cover to get my steering to clear the diff cover. But with this, it puts it out in front of it where there's no problems with the uh, clearance, right? Yep, absolutely. It'll fit most aftermarket diff covers and most standard JK axles without even having a problem. Very cool. I, I can't wait to see those in production. I, yeah. I know I need a couple of them right now, so oh, I can't worry. wait. Put <laughs> some on your Jeep soon. Thank you. And... I also noticed there's a couple new springs you guys have got. So you got a, a one and a half inch kit and a triple rate springs, right? Yep, yep. Actually, all of our one five kits, our two five kits, and three five kits are all going to triple rate coils. It gives you more suspension travel. We were actually able to fine tune the transition zone in the springs to get better handling and better ride quality as well. So it's still going to be a pretty aggressive spring off road, but on the street it's going to feel much nicer. That's the idea, right? Absolutely. It'll definitely be much smoother on the road. You know, everything that we do is really dialed into the consumer with a daily driver, we want their vehicle to ride as good as possible. Right, and that's always been the reason we use rock collar parts on our, on our, our Jeeps. Uh, you know, anything can work good off-road, but majority of the miles on our Jeep is going to be on the street, so uh, I'm glad you guys are thinking about that part of the uh, the application. And rock crawler, of course, is known for their their uh, ability off-road, so uh, right, right. very cool, very cool. Absolutely, thank you very much. So how's the show been? Oh, the show's been awesome. It's been wicked busy. Um, you know, we've got an awesome vehicle that you guys actually took a lot of time and, and effort on with the JKL and all your armor. Absolutely fantastic vehicle for our booth. And uh, in the next year or so, we've got a lot of cool stuff that Jeremy and I are working on together as uh, some pretty cool vehicles. So, so keep your eye out for those builds. Jeremy, thanks for having us again. Beautiful booth. Good luck at the show. Absolutely. Thanks a lot. Thanks Thank for stopping you. in. My pleasure.